This is Making Moves. And we have 50,000 rand to invest in a business. 13 entrepreneurs will come face to face with our panel of judges to pitch for this investment. I'm not convinced on where you're wanting to spend the money. Your business could be in line to win this grand prize and our money in the bank series. Your business could be operating from home, the streets, or at a fancy office. No money from a bicycle. Oksalayo, we are looking for you. Only four entrepreneurs will make it to the final episode to pitch for that investment. Watch Making Moves every Monday, 2 p.m. on SABC One. Zanzi for show. Take it away. One of the current projects that we're doing is converting used waste billboard into new innovative ideas. Uh, You've the researched the manufacture of the shoe. Have you researched the market that you're actually going to be selling to? No. 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 How much would a shoe cost? To make? Yeah. Pollution and littering is still a major concern in the country. Khateng province contributes around 42% of the 42 million cubic meters of general waste generated every year. At the tender age of 16, recycling business. My name is Gift Libele, founder and director of GN Loop, a company that converts waste into a wide variety of innovative products. And what makes us unique is the fact that we turn waste into treasure through working with entrepreneurs in the township. You could find us on www.gnlub.com. He turns plastic into innovative products. Did I mention is only 19? It's uh, okay. I'm uh, uh, from Billboard. Yes, sir. Yeah. So you made a billboard. It's pure billboard. Yeah, flip it. No, no, no. I. I'm not going to be able to put it. It's really not good. But I win this in case. Yeah. Yes, sir. The other good thing is this: like, two old songle while we're in grade eleven. So after I get old, register the business like. So I register business in grade 11 and it started to be exactly what grade are saying. But one thing in the because I was in the was waste. There was plastic everywhere and I walked from my place to the school. So I started, you know, thinking how I should do something that solved this problem. Yeah. Did you know anything about Lenkundla Lofunungenagion A recycling? To be honest, I, I, next has to be next. Yes. And I don't think you even have to know to do something. Yeah. Um, you don't have to be great to start, but yeah. you have to start to be great. Yeah. So that was the thought I had. 
And I came here with an idea of turning waste into treasure, mm -hmm. but I didn't know how. Yeah, well. And this facility, you know, in partnership with the city of Ekurleni, mm -hmm. gave me that platform which I should come here and just go wild. Yeah, well. And they offered me like free internet to do this. So I was, I was going, I was saving on data and I did most of my ideas here mm -hmm. and they just don't allow mass production. Yeah, well, well. Yeah. So, yeah, well. This is where we do our cutting. Yes, sir. Of the bags. So, we cut. Yeah. Okay. So, what we want to think, we have recycling, we speak to dustbins and plastic piled. Mara, we, we, we're trying to make it more um, elegant. Yes. Waste shouldn't be just dirty everywhere, like yes. you said. Um, so the things are Okay. and we have several things. Uh, we wash them and we do really small things. Mm -hmm. But a lot of waste, the billboards, they go um, stop on. So let's just be here, let's go, or as a moment, we thought, no, to a ganja, nigga, or if you are ganja, let's stop on, or we store it up and in engineer, up and no, that's a con. No. So the billboards, they used to market. Yes. And when they expire, they taken off. Mm -hmm. the question is where do they go? How can you lash a spinning? It'll stay there until until because it's a resort in the Yeah. So Haradinka, we give them a second life because it's a din to the soul. This is uh, Miboni. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. She's from Stubborn. She does the mass production for for us. Okay. In terms of the Board of Healthcare Finders, we host an annual conference uh, which involves 1,200 delegates. And uh, each year at that conference, we need conference bags. So when Gift uh, sent me an email, it was at the time when we were looking for, you know, bags for, for our delegates. He called me and he explained what uh, his business model, which fitted in with the strategy that I wanted to implement this year, that we want bags, but we want to give back and we want to empower young people. That's how we selected uh, gifts. I think the service has been great and for me what's important is the concept around uh, what he does. Okay, As you can see we've got the conference bags and what we did is we, it's recycled material with different shui shui, um, just giving the delegates better choice um, and it's handmade and you'll see the branding. Uh, we've got one of our biggest major sponsors and I found this branding quite exciting because it's different. It's not what we normally do on bags. Now you have taken a very critical part of your business, yeah. which is the manufacturing, which yeah. drives the sales in your business. Yeah. And you've outsourced it to somebody outside of your business. What's your plan for the next 12 months? been mummy's boy since childhood. Uma wake, uyena kodla lichaze likhulu kakhulu empilweni yayo ke lensizwale. Over the years, ubuhlobo babo ke bona ke has formed a strong bond. Sicitha usuku nayo lensizwale na ke lapho khona siqoqisane nabantu abamanzi kabanzi. Ukuze basitshele ukuthi lensizwale yayinjani ke yona isakhula. It's very very hard to share a room especially with you know a mother. It would be better if it was a father or someone who's a male, but mother, it's it's totally different. So, yeah, it it I I can't explain how how difficult it was, but I assure you, it's very difficult. I mean, I'm 20 years this year, you know, and there's like some things I need to do kiwani in my own space, but I can't do it because I share a room with my mom. But. It also taught me one important thing, Hore, where you are shouldn't mess with how you think. Mm -hmm. 
Hence, I, I dress a suit almost every day. And I do business as if I come from where I see myself. You know, I moved to Gauteng in 2014. And I was Gauteng, you see this amazing Gauteng, got TV, the lights, you know, the nice life. And I thought, it's everywhere, go Gauteng. Uh, little did I know, I don't know, it's, it's, exact, it's not the same. You know, they're totally different. They... Uko di sitse ki mama gane, karna ni ki mutu hezi ko haye, ki mutu hezi ko haye ana le de tries ki to bereka. My primary school ne ili go Ratoke, primary school. I go, still go Ratoke village, go Limpopo. And I did my schooling there. Hagfeza Kayako Ramahohu. It's still called the village, but it's like secondary. Nekimutiri Asete Avala Standard 7. Laratola gift can to the Huevo Nahuia Ganna, Nikinaga Ave Doctor. She something nice. She wanted, and for, for in, go, go in her mind, being a doctor was like the best thing. I met Gift in Captain Park at this organization, uh, organization called uh, the GPR, the Global Business Roundtable. So it happened to Guti La Payana. We were part of the future leaders and Gatle Gatle basically same department. Uh, so what appealed to me about Gift was um, I think the ability to have a proper conversation. So you know when you when you when you go into a summit and you you trying to connect with people, uh, I connected with Gift, and um, at that time I didn't realize he was only 19. Uh, I thought I was speaking to an adult who like actually has a has a business. For me, as as Gift, um, don't describe as somebody uh, are you crazy. I need a very uh, weird uh, sense of humor. Mang na e, please unfunu guya an extra mile. Umuntu vele ngafis kuting rabe ma shoulder na. Umuntu vele ozuk pilda ezi pesi ene na. Umuntu vele ufu kasi le guya yonkin tu ayenza. Hey guys, so this is the street food market in Timbisa and um, it's where local entrepreneurs come and cook and they do amazing food and I come here and this is what I do for fun. It's time to come my food market so I'm trying out the food market. So I think weakness here now is uh, financial management. Only weakness here who who live under. You know the way I came in. We tend to move fast, so as in this industry, we should be angry. So we attend and so we attend the way about. Yes, I I am quite forgetful. That's why I get get down a little fast. has toyed with many innovative creations in the business. The business is still in the process of finding its niche products. Jenga manje lentizwa lena ese studio uko kusana nati. Ukusichela futu kuti ye hini ye lena ya menza kuti ya na asungule business like. Elazi wangu kuti wage hichi en loop. Hey guys, I just arrived at Making Moves Studio. Um, I'm here to meet Okela. I'm really excited, but at the very same time I'm a bit nervous, but I look forward to it. Gift Lubele is fondly known as a teenpreneur who registered his recycling business at the young and tender age of 17 whilst he was still in grade 11. 
the business has since stagnated and he's fast running out of solutions. He's here to tell us about his challenges and the way forward. Gift, welcome to Making Moves. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Gift, tell me, what were your personal reasons for going into business? So I was living in Limpopo for all my life. I came to Joburg in 2014. Okay. And when I got here, I saw different opportunities that people in Joburg were not aware of. Okay. One of them was uh, plastic pollution. Mm -hmm. And you know, when I was in grade 11, I decided, you know what, it's time I start saving the world and doing something. Okay. And I registered my first recycling company. Okay. Why is it? Chilet deka um, I mean, we, we're currently having a few challenges. One of them includes Hobali client A1. Mm. But otherwise, there is money that does come in there in the business. Mm. We are now at a stage where we need to grow. The expense is a business. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you're not currently manufacturing your goods. How do you assess the demand for the customer? And can you really call yourself a recycling company? Kappa. Can we rather call you a middleman or a sales distributor? Mm. Kappa? Mm. You, you get what I'm saying? I do. Okay, I do. tell me. We, we are a recycling innovation company. Okay. There's a lot of people who collect plastic. There's a lot of people who have um, recycling stuff on them. We create the ideas out of plastic. So yes, we are not, are not, not out of waste. We are not the ones doing the actual uh, production but we're the ones who come up with ideas on how to do things. And then we partner with people who actually do the production and we, we take it from there. We're the ones who go out there, who look for the clients. Mm -hmm. And when we have a client, mm -hmm. we then come back to the people who, who must produce. And these are people mm -hmm. within disadvantaged communities, uh, entrepreneurs within. Okay. Yeah. So the biggest challenge about being the person in the middle, Gore Moto, Otolandi products from men. Yeah. Yeah. And then chalete is a thought happy, right? Mm -hmm. uh, as you sell to your customer. So basically, your margins are reduced. Not really. <gasps> Not really? Not really. Um, our, our model is quite fascinating because one of the only spending we, 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 we do is when we pay the people we've partnered with Babaga Manufacturer. Eh. But otherwise, and, and expenses like transportation when we're having meetings with potential clients and so on. But otherwise, the rest of the money is just pure profit. Okay, so on a percentage basis, tell me what your gross profit margin is. In other words, how much do you want your product on the product, the, the, basically the markup? Yeah of your product, what percentage is that? It's 62%. It's 62%, and then by the time you get to the bottom line, how much of that 62% have you spent? We, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say, so 62% is just after everything has been deducted. Eh. So production and transportation, 62% is for the business profit. Okay. But within the 62%, then we need to pay ourselves salaries. Okay. And um, we also need to do some business expenses for the day. And uh, rent, do you have rent? No, we don't have rent. You don't have rent. Yeah. Okay. So, in effect, you are a procurement company. <laughs> you're not a recycling company because unless you're recycling other people's goods and putting those goods into somebody else's hands, yeah. I don't hear you actually saying, Hore, you are a recycling company. You've kind of moved away from the f using recycled waste and actually you're a conduit. In other words, in in your business. Mm. Am I correct in saying that? I would say you are, but um, I, I still believe strongly that we are a recycling company. And the reason for that, Gehore, this is just a single project that we're currently working on. Obviously, in future, we would like to have our own thing, whereby we do things mm. on our own. But currently, I think it's good for our business mm. to, you know, work with someone who has been in this thing and they understand it clearly. Hence, I, mm. I, everywhere I go, I say we are a recycling company mainly because of what we did in the past mm. and what we are doing um, in the near future. Okay, gift. Yeah. Like, uh, the products that you're actually selling. Yeah. What do you sell? So currently, we do um, sling bags, okay. laptop bags. We do pencil cases, and we are introducing raincoats made pr primarily from billboards. Okay. Yeah. Now you have taken a very critical part of your business. Yeah. 
which is the manufacturing, which yeah. drives the sales in your business. Yeah. And you've outsourced it to somebody outside of your business. Yeah. So which means you're no longer in control of it. Tomorrow, if they experience a strike, the factory burns down, your business is now going to suffer for that. So now you're dependent on someone else. How are you mitigating the risks around conti business continuity in that way? It's, it's not something we plan on doing forever. It's something that is working now because we are at a startup level. And you know, there's always disadvantages and advantages to everything. And what you just mentioned now is one of the disadvantages of working with uh, an external partner. But we, we intend on having our own thing. It, it's not going to happen okay. yeah, soon. So speaking about soon, yeah. what's your plan for the next 12 months? Firstly, we have, we have two plans. The first one is on the current projects that we do, which is the bags and whatever, whatever. I, I strongly believe that a lot of corporates are not aware of us. So the plan is to do uh, marketing. And by marketing, if I may be specific, we are going to initiate a three months um, campaign on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram about this whole initiative and green innovation. That's the first plan. And we're mm -hmm. currently going to use Mailer. Mm -hmm. We have a network of people, me and, and, and uh, my potential partner, we're working, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to be working with someone soon. Mm -hmm. So we want to merge that network and start sending people monthly newsletters okay. or news feeds that tell All them right. about the, the, the product and they could order immediately okay. on it. And those people are corporates. And the second uh, plan that we want to do okay. is then we want to create shoes made primarily from recycled material. So we're going to send you to one of our coaches, okay? okay? And they're basically going to chat to you around your plan for the future and how it is you're going to work through it. Okay. The studio interview was really good. It was really informative. And um, Okela made me realize some key aspects within my business that I need to you know, consider and look into. What would you suggest we do to connect with them socially? You know what, I think knock doors. Yeah. Get that database. You know, do it the old school way. Yeah, call, call every number there, yeah. set up meetings, and go up, show them your prototype. You know, the, I like the campaign idea. Yeah. It works, you know. Gift has challenges of growing his sales and clientele. Jenga manje uzo tutu sana no mkipe shuwe tuozo msiza, kwa kumneza zi ngebiso, anga wazgu sebenzi sayeni business in lucky. What are the three key problem areas in your business that we can talk about now? One, getting clients. Okay. Um, two, I think it's just having daily tasks to do. Okay. I find myself doing a lot of things, a lot of different things. Okay. Um, and um, the third one is just being recognized. All right. Yeah. So, tell me more about capacity. Are you the only person in the business? Currently, yes, but I'm bringing someone on board. His name is Kay Oliver. Okay. He's going to be um, a partner in, in, in my business. All right. And yeah. what's the process? I mean, you are doing, you're in recycling. Sure. So you take what? Plastic? Yeah. Currently, we do billboards. Yeah. Um, I did plastic um, a year ago. Okay. But now I, we do billboards. And why, why did you leave plastic? What happened? There are a lot of things that need to be acquired. Uh-huh. For an example, when I want to have a factory, I need to get certain machinery, sure, sure. I need to have a place, uh -huh. I need to have insurance, of, yes. and there's a lot of things going on there. Okay. So and with Billboard? With Billboard, it's easier. Okay. Mainly because we are using someone's services yeah. than to, to do our current project. So who collects the waste? They, they collect the waste. Who's they? They are stubborn. Okay. They are our main partner, so they collect the, the billboards. Uh -huh. they, they, Secondly, clean them. Okay. And then the third part, they do what we tell them to do. Okay, so yeah. you are basically a designer. So you design products. We innovate. You innovate products, yeah. okay. Gift's business model has different processes. I think the process is, bro is broken. We innovators, we use waste and we create quite different innovative uh, products. And the, the process of doing that really is um, us coming up with new ideas, finding people to help us make those ideas to life, 
then we are the ones who sell those ideas. What sells the most in your business? Our sling bag. Your sling bags? Yeah. And oh. what's not selling? Our, our pencil cases. Okay. And our raincoats. Okay. Yeah. We want to be a green innovation empire. We want to create not only bags, we want to use not only billboard, but we want to show people that through waste, there's so much things that we could do. And are you still producing these? We're not producing them. So we never produce something without getting a client first. Ah, I see. So we get a client and they pay 50%. And after okay. getting 50%, we start the production. So what happens to the material that's sitting? It sits. OK. And who's paying for that? No one. He has an expensive. He has guys going out there, collecting waste, cleaning it up. He has to pay for them to do that. Um, waste sitting and waiting for him to sell the product to the client. And that could take the next six to 12 months. No one knows, that's not definite. Uh, from that, that's, that's where it stems where there's um, cash flow issues. I, I, I've, I've spent some time looking at your income statement. I see you have one client or two yeah. that, that randomly come in. Mm. And I know what the reasons are for having one client because yeah. you spend a lot of time selling and knocking yeah. doors. Yeah. And there's a cash flow issue. Yeah. So I think one area is to cut off the manufacturing hub and let a manufacturing hub be the manufacturing hub. Mm. Let you yourself be the designer. Mm. So you come up, you the innovator. So you come up with the innovative stuff. And I've seen your products, beautiful stuff. Um, innovate that. Do an MVP, which is a minimum viable product, yeah. that you can just use one product as a prototype and knock all the corporate stores. And there's a strategy around corporate, as if you focus on the procurement department, mm. spend time in understanding what exactly is it that they would want from you. Mm. Looking at your marketing element, I, I want to understand furthermore, how are you marketing? I've Not, seen in your income statement. Yeah. With your Twitter, yeah, Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. So we 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 did we do some some um, ads. Yeah. But what I realized was that the ad were not directly for the people we're targeting, which are corporates. Sure. It was just for individuals. Yeah. And we've, we've had responses, you know, people come in, they're like, can we have one bag? Yeah. But that's not really sustainable. No, that's not sustainable. Yeah, either. so yeah. We, we, we're trying to, to use social media still, okay. but channel it in, in the right direction. Which is which is corporate. Okay. Two, I also try to carry my bag everywhere I go with sure, me, sure. Um, and I attend symposiums and conferences okay. whereby I always show potential, you know, clients okay. what we do. So you have fifty thousand rand yeah. that you'd like to win. What are you going to do with that? So we we divided it into two parts. Yeah. Twenty five thousand rand mm. will focus on the current project that we're doing. Yeah which is the bags. Yeah. And with it, we, we intend to take 9,500 yeah. and do and design and consult on a campaign okay. that will focus on corporates. Yeah. And we are going to use about 13,950 okay. to do the actual uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter account. Okay. And we would like to push this for the next three months. So okay. it's gonna be a three months uh, campaign yeah. that is tailor made for corporates. Right. And, and the next amount? The next amount, we're going to use it on um, a project that we want to do. Yeah. Um, we did research and we are going to, to create uh, shoes. Okay. I would say stay away from Facebook. You're putting a lot of money on Facebook. It yeah. hasn't worked. Yeah. Um, it hasn't worked. So learn from that experience that it hasn't worked. What would you suggest we do to connect with them socially? You know what, I think knock doors. Knock doors. I mean, get a, get a database of all your procurement companies out there. Mm. I mean, those, I would even say buy a database, mm. which costs about 35,000 rand. Get that database, you know, do it the old school way. Yeah, call, call every number there, yeah. set up meetings and go show them your prototype. You know, the, I like the campaign idea. Yeah. It works, you know, punting um, campaigns on, on newsletters, etc., to corporates and constantly letting them know about your product and, and how innovative it is and what you've changed and what you're doing around it. I yeah. think that would work. Yeah. I like the shoe idea, but I would say maybe work on that campaign for tomorrow and perhaps work on the return of investments of it. So if you can quantify the amount of money that you're putting into 
the business and what exactly is it going to bring back mm. in terms of numbers, mm. I think you might stand a chance to win. Thank you. I think the coaching session with Lerato was really productive. Um, he, he clarified certain things within um, my business and I'm glad that he was once in the waste industry. So it, it made perfect sense. How much would a shoe cost? To make? Yeah. Depending on the material that we want to use, I would be lying if I knew the exact figure. But you don't know what a unit cost of the investment is, not just an excuse. Very good. Very good. Uh, how important is this pitch for Wena and for, for a business like Kwangana and Logos or Wenzel and For me, it's really important because it's not only about today's pitch, but about me exposing my business to everyone who will be watching. So for me, it's it's really important that I impress not only the judges, mm -hmm. but the view, viewers as well. Hey, well, well. Yeah. How are you feeling? I'm feeling a bit anxious, I have to say, but I'm um, really excited. I was looking forward to this day. So, thank you. Thank you. All the best, Puti. Thanks. Shona Kwan. Welcome back to Making Moves. Thank you. You have four minutes to pitch your business to us and what it is you do with the 50K that you could win. Take it away. My name is Gift Lubele, founder and CEO of a recycling innovation company called GN Loop. And in GN Loop, we believe in a world where trash is seen as treasure. The company was founded by myself in 2015 while I was doing my grade 12. We currently have two directors and one main partner, which is Dabon. Why do we do what we do? Because of three reasons, really. One is because of sustainability. We build sustainable people, places, and power within disadvantaged communities. We also do it because of the shocking waste statistics. I mean, on a daily basis, Africans generate up to half a kilogram of waste, which totals to 70 million tons of waste, and no one does anything with it. We also do what we do to empower people. How do we do it? We do it through clean innovation. One of the current projects that we're doing is converting used waste billboard into new innovative ideas. And our collection is called the, e the Eco Bag Collection. And it's a collection of bags, different bags quite, uh, that are, are used for, for different events. Our bags include sports bags, laptop bags, pencil cases, sling bags, and so on. Our target market currently consists of corporate events, entertainment events, awareness campaigns, social, uh, I mean, corporate social responsibility projects, and sometimes foundations. Our growth traction shows that um, when I was still um, in grade 12 in 2015, my business made about less than 10,000 rands. And um, in 2016, we made 95,000 rands, and this is for the entire year. But this year alone, for the first six months, we made 190,000 rands plus on the business. And our current client, uh, our previous client rather, are MMI Holdings and PHF and, and many more. So what are we gonna do with the 50,000 rands? Well, we're gonna take half of it and invest it in our new innovative projects, our project, which is the Eco Shoe. So we're gonna make a shoe completely from waste. We're going to use 20,000 rands to buy a machine that compresses, extrude, and injects plastic that is waste into, the, in, into a solar of a bag. And we're gonna use 5,000 rands to validate this idea because it's an idea, we've done research, but we still need to validate it within the communities. And of course, we're gonna need more than 25,000 rands to run with this new project. Hence, we would like to take the, the other 25,000 and invest it in our current project, which is the bags. And with it, we want to get more clients. So we're going to take 9,500 rands and put it in a three months 
um, campaign on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to make people aware about the amazing stuff we do. And we're going to take 14,000 rands to buy a database of sustainability ma managers and events organizers within Joburg and perhaps even South Africa. And the remaining 1,500 rand, we're going to invest it in mail in a mailer. So every single month, we will send out newsletters, you know, um, making people aware of the stuff we do at GN Loop and um, also incorporate in it online transaction. Thank you. Thank you, Gift. So you still have a minute to go. Would you like to use it? Maybe speak from your heart and tell us why we should give you this 50,000. Um, I'm 20 years of age. This I just turned 20 this year. And um, my business is not just about bags. It's not just about, you know, the new shoes that we will be doing. My business is about making people aware that although we have a perception of how the future looks like, we need to also think of waste. So we need to incorporate waste in, in drones, in self-driving cars. My, my business is, is more about green innovation. And I think with the 50,000 rands, I will get a better chance. Thank you. Your time is up. want to go into a new business where you're now going to manufacture shoes and it's my understanding that at present you're not manufacturing your bags. Are you still going to have the manufacturing outsourced? No. We want to do, we want to then we, um, make it our, our uh, project. And the current client that you have is sourcing the bags only from you. So, and you only have one client. So who exactly are you going to sell these shoes to? Have you found and identified that need in the market that you're addressing? Or is this something that's just coming out of your heart and onto a business plan that hasn't yet been tested in terms of feasibility? Yeah, so what's nice is that the fact that my partner made shoes previously, uh, but it was not this exact type of shoe. Okay. So, so research has been done, uh, but validation is what we need to do, which is just right. transaction. Yeah. You, uh, you've the, researched the manufacture of the shoe. Have you researched the market that you're actually going to be selling to? I wouldn't say we have really done that, uh, but we, so research for me is actually going out and, you know, speaking to potential clients. The, the research that we have done is just looking at the numbers looking at the amount of money that exists in the shoe market and looking at the few manufacturers of shoes that there is in that market. Mm. So that's the only research that I would say we've done. How much would a shoe cost? To make? Yeah. Depending on the material that we want to use, I would be lying if I knew the exact figure. Okay. Because so actually you've gone into this and it's an idea, you're presenting it and you don't know how much it's going to cost. Yeah. The shoe, yes. Reason being that we still need to buy a machine which cost us 20,000 rands. So you haven't and worked out a unit cost and you're pitching to a panel of investors that needs to invest money into your business, but you don't know what a unit cost of the investment is. Not just the unit cost, Martin. Mm -hmm. We don't know what the return on investment is going to be. We don't know if there will be a return. Yeah. So we are putting money into this and we're hoping that something comes of it. Yeah, and this is the part where I'm not really proud of myself, but unfortunately, yes. Uh, but I would like to say to these investors that should I be, you know, given a chance perhaps afterwards, okay. I can definitely come with exact numbers because I was going to prepare a pitch with just estimated numbers and just present it to you, but I'd like to do the actual figures and know what I'm talking about. Thank so you. Is that not an excuse? excuse? Is I that think not just an excuse. Mm. Martin, do you have something to ask him just before he uh, leaves Lerato? Mm. Do you want to ask him one last question? No. No. Okay. Gift, thank you for that. Um, give us some time to deliberate and we'll come back to you. Thank you. I think it started off quite good, but I also think that I could have done more research, especially on the new project that we want to venture into. Um, hence, you saw, you know, I didn't really know the exact figures for the new project, um, the new project that we will be venturing into. So I still think it went good, but I, I think I could have done a bit better. So we've heard from Gift, he's presented his case. 
What are you saying? He's oh. cute. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, more than cute, Aww. Martin. <laughs> He's just got that face that makes you want to be <laughs> nice to him. Absolutely. I'm going to go to the hotel. I'm going to I... I'd like to believe so, mm -hmm. but the final say is, is upon the judges. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about his, his, his innovation mm -hmm. as he's presented it mm -hmm. and whether 50,000 would float in his business or if it would just sink. Yeah, I'm just worried that he doesn't have anything, he didn't have anything tangible to give us. Yeah. So figures for me is extremely important yeah. because you need to understand what you're putting your money into. Yeah. Mm. What happened? So it's a new project, mm -hmm. and um, I, 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 I could have, you know, just predicted a number based mm -hmm. on the current things that is happening in the shoe industry, but I don't want to do that, uh, and it might be a disadvantage. You know, but I was supposed to know the exact numbers. Mm. Rather give me an estimate to show me that you're mm. on track to, and Absolutely. say to me these are estimates. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, but don't come here and make that an excuse. Yeah. I didn't appreciate that because, I mean, you're asking for money yeah. to invest into a business yeah. that you need to show a return on investment mm. in. Sure. If you're one of the judges, yeah. what would you think? When? You know, as if, if I was one of the judges, I would currently look at what the current project is doing, mm -hmm. which is doing good. Mm -hmm. And I would look at the potential within the company mm -hmm. And I would, I would base my trust on these two things. Mm -hmm. The current project, which shows Ugo to this company can make moves mm -hmm. and, um, and look in, in, in the new project because we, we're really going to make it happen. I, I, from my session with him, yeah. I picked up that he's an innovator. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you look at the financials and you look at the growth of a company. Since 2015 to 2017, not much growth. Mm. So I think he's an innovator, he has great products. Um, I think he has the ability to do it. Mm. I just need he needs the leadership. Mm. Yeah. Perhaps yeah. he's not a seller. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? Too. Absolutely. You know, I think it's so important in business to identify what it is you're doing. Yeah. This is a new project altogether. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it's something completely new, yeah. which is actually what he's been doing. Yeah. Yeah. He's been making money from his ideas, yes. but I don't know if that is worth the 50,000. Yeah. So, we have to get a new project. But why would you expect to get a new project? We have to get a new project. We have to get a new project. We have to With the current project that we're doing now, we, this is what makes it's, it's making us survive. Mm -hmm. We feed from the current project. And to be honest, we're going to need more than 25,000 mm -hmm. with the new project. Mm -hmm. I'm just worried that he's you know, he's the money that he wants to use is going into the wrong space. Mm. Because if he's outsourcing manufacturing at the moment, why not insource mm. manufacturing mm. and then go out there and sell this thing to death? Yeah. I mean, he's, he's in the corporate space at the moment. People are loving the whole going green. Mm. You know, they, they spend a lot, a of, lot money of money on that. Yeah. 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 Let's give him three things that he can do to actually move from his space to be in a more comfortable space, to be profitable, find him 